What's up, YouTube? Rich McCoy again, and I wanted to drop an important video, man. If you've been in solar sales over the last six months, year, etc., you know that we are in what feels like a state of emergency, okay? So in this video, I wanna talk about the changes we've started to see and a lot that we're gonna see going into 2023 and how consolidation and consolidating with other partners is gonna be your best bet for a lot of people and how all of us need to really adapt or we might die, we might not make it. Let's dive in. So let's talk about the changes, guys. The economy. The economy raises their rates. The lenders raise their rates. That means our dealer fees go sky high. That means our commissions get dwindled down, right? So what do we do? You guys are now facing a situation where you have to take really small commissions or even to be able to make the type of money that most of us are used to. We've got to sell that 9.9 .9 APR package with a lot of the solar specific lenders, right? And in most cases, that puts a very complicated package in front of the customer. So what do you do? How do you survive now in our field when everything Thing is completely changed around. So one way to be adaptive in that scenario, when that APR is just too high and made that bill bump go up a little bit too much, is to have that lease option in your arsenal. Having that lease option in your tool belt is gonna keep you adaptive and keep you flexible throughout all of these changes. Another one is the equipment costs, right? We're seeing higher equipment costs. That means our EPCs and our installers, just like a lot of our sales orgs, month over month are having to go back to their books just to make sure that everything is in order so that they can run a healthy business right complicated supply chain issues causes delays in install causes a lot of headache for everybody involved down that chain and who's at the end of that the salesperson and the homeowner right it doesn't cause the best experience but it's something that we're all going to be faced with and we got to be able to roll with those punches one of the things that you guys will also see that a lot of our solar specific lenders have started to incorporate is the complete removal of m1 payments now if you don't know what an m1 payment is an m1 payment is a milestone one payment from the finance company to the install or to the sales org for uh, getting NTP and getting the home checked out, all docs complete, et cetera, right? So a lot of companies rely on that cash literally to survive, to make payroll, to get their people paid, et cetera. So the complete removal of M1s for most of our lenders is gonna have a significant impact to all of the people in our industry. And then secondly, guys, I wanna talk about consolidation, man. If Unless you've been under a rock, we've seen consolidation in many forms across our industry for the last two years. And I personally love to see it, right? We've seen large Larger installers acquire smaller installers. We've seen EPC to EPC merge together. We've seen EPCs acquire uh, smaller sales orgs. I've even seen Legion companies partner with EPCs or partner with sales organizations. And I am a huge, huge fan of consolidation. I think more people need to reach out to one another and figure out how to partner with one another in order to survive, not only just to survive, but how do we thrive? How do we dominate in the midst of all this chaos, right? Truth of the matter is guys, Everybody can't be Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, or Mark Zuckerberg, right? The notion or this idea of the solopreneur who built this business from the ground up with his bare hands and it became this billion dollar company, the biggest thing ever, is for the few and far in between. It's also not necessary. You can be massively successful, and in fact, you have a higher likelihood of being massively, massively successful with the right team of people around you. Think about it this way. Right now, you were LeBron in Cleveland in his early days, and with our industry, Industry, you want to figure out how you can be LeBron in Miami without doing the decision, right? Take it from pro sports. If you want to win championships, you got to team up. You got to have compatible personalities, compatible skill sets surrounded by you. Other organizations, other people out there who have complementary skill sets to your areas of opportunity, giving you more time in the day, more time to focus on the things that you actually like to do within your business, more time with your family, et cetera, and your company moves at a lot faster pace, right? If you're anything like I was in the beginning, man, I'm doing everything. I'm writing scripts, I'm sales training, I'm taking guys in the home, I'm shadowing deals, I'm creating all of our systems, I'm monitoring my call team, I'm training my ops specialist. I feel like I'm the Tyler Perry of solar, right? I'm doing everything. I'm selling deals. I'm training. I'm writing scripts. I'm running lead gen. Like I'm designing everything like too much stuff, right? I needed to bring in more people to help me offload my duties so that I could super focus on the things that I really enjoyed, which gave me more energy at the end of the day, then also made me better at those things versus trying to chase 20 rabbits at once and then ultimately catching none of them. Which brings me to my final point, guys. 
adapt or die. We're seeing a lot of people, unfortunately, quietly leave the industry, going back to roofing sales or alarms or insurance or tech sales. You can make money in all those fields, guys, but if you made a decision and you committed to this, this is still the greatest opportunity in our country for a salesperson, right? And then think about it. Right now, what's happening is the great exit. It's quiet right now, but you'll hear more and more of it over the next three to six months. I guarantee it. So do you want to leave with the herd or do you want to stay and figure out how do I pivot? How do I consolidate? How do I merge? How do I change my offer and my positioning so that I could dominate, so that I could thrive in the midst when everybody else is scared? It's just like COVID, right? When everybody else is scared, when everybody else retreats, winners go farther, they go faster, they go stronger because they know that is where the biggest opportunity lies and that is where we are right now. The biggest opportunity in our field exists right now. We got to capitalize. This year, you have to adapt or die because it's going to be bumpy. Companies cannot afford to hire people that cost so much and then not give them proper training, right? To not invest in your people, to not invest in your legion, to not come up with new processes, to innovate what you're currently doing to get better. You cannot do the same thing. You cannot remain the same and expect to even get the same results, let alone win in business. You have to do something totally different to win now. So even within Revis, it applies to us especially, right? So between all the supply chain issues and the lending issues, we run an actual company, guys. No shade to anyone else, but we run a company with salary people in multiple departments. Most guys in our fields are just glorified sales team. Again, and that's okay, because it works and you can make a ton of money on it, but they just kind of knock doors and then wait to get paid at install, right? People depend on us for, for their mortgage, for their car payment, et cetera, right? So we have to pivot and adapt to the changes just like anyone else. So what we did is we took every single thing that we're elite at and we're bringing it to you guys. We're continuing to put value to the industry on a much bigger way. It's all about expansion for me professionally and personally. And I thought, okay, I could have 50 Revis guys in one room or I could train and sell to 5,000, 50,000, et cetera. And that's what you guys are seeing now. So we're creating everything from Legion opportunities to super affordable courses for that brand new rep or that seasoned rep who wants to become elite. We're also essentially launching a full training company where you guys can work directly with myself and my team in person or Zoom, right? Building a virtual call center, coming up with new sales processes, coming up with new pitch decks, understanding and learning and training yourself on how to overcome these modern objections, right? We exist to bring that value to our industry so that more people can stay in business, they can thrive and they can make more money. So what are you guys going to do differently? Because you literally cannot sell the same. You literally cannot have the same pitch deck, the same offer, you have to do something different. Our customers, they're also affected by the interest rates. They've seen what happened to Pink Energy on the news, right? Their neighbors are telling them about their bad experience. You're getting outpriced by virtual sales reps in other countries. It's saturated, or so they say. How do you compete? What are you going to do to thrive? Are you going to exit? Are you going to leave? Are you going to pivot and dominate and make more money than you ever made before? My last piece of advice, guys, is get some new associations. Invest in yourself. Invest in your people. Come up with new processes. You have to innovate what you're currently doing. Don't worry about how do we survive with all the changes. Worry about how do we dominate? Everybody's scared right now. What moves can we make to dominate? How can we take up market share now that folks are leaving, right? The idea of saturation is BS, I promise you. It doesn't matter if you're in Dallas or if you're in LA. I work with reps all over the country and people are not trained properly. 90% of the people in our field right now have no idea what they're doing. They don't know how to pitch. They don't know how to close. They don't know people and companies just higher, higher, higher and throw bodies on blitzes and throw bodies out there to knock doors and they go, we'll see what happens. No one can afford to do that anymore. And even if they can get trained, become elite and you can dominate in 2023, I promise. So if you guys are looking for that help, if you are that individual broker, we're looking for affordable options to take your game to the next level. Or if you just launched your own sales org, or if you are EPC and you're hiring sales reps and you are bringing in that sales team and you want to expedite that process because you understand that there is a window closing on the margins in our field for the remainder of the year. It's going to keep going down, but there's still so many roofs. There's still such a massive opportunity. Stay the course. Let the great exit happen. Stay. Come up with new information. Come up with new associations, new processes, and you will dominate. I'm here for you guys. If you want to work directly with myself and my team, or if you're that new rep, that experienced rep who are looking for affordable options to take your game to the next level, reach out below, man. Click, check out all the links down below. There's going to be a ton of resources for you guys. And if you haven't already done this, guys, please subscribe again. You're getting a little bit better 
but 70 to 80 percent of my views come from non-subscribers guys so please subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next drop i promise you i know i've been a little bit lagging on it but i'm gonna pump these out on a weekly basis one of my own personal goals is to take this channel uh very seriously i've juggled a lot business wise over the last forever but now i'm really gonna prioritize this guys for you and for myself it's something that i enjoy a lot so come on subscribe take this journey with me i'll see you guys in the next one